what the Olympics was all about. You can I think for a lot of people, as you say, John Barnes, they will still remember that goal. John Barnes now. Michael all the way for England. Barnes. I don't remember much of the goal, and in fact, even when I do see it on television again, it's like having an out-of-body experience because I cannot remember doing that. There's a lot of fear involved in playing football. Apprehension, not fear, in not wanting to make a mistake. So if you do something good, you then want to pass it off to somebody else. So if they make a mistake, at least you've looked good. So therefore, after looking good and beating one player, I said, well, I'll pass the ball now, and then I would have looked good. Someone else is going to lose the ball because ultimately you do lose the ball, and, and whoever loses it feels a bit stupid. So after beating three players, I said, well, that's really it now, please. Let me just give the ball to someone else. And I've looked good. So till eventually, I was just in front of the goalkeeper. I remember kind of thinking, that wasn't supposed to happen. How did that happen? How did he do that? The Brazilians were shocked, and I suppose that's why they didn't tackle me, because they thought, there's no way an Englishman is going to do this. So, you know, let him try and do whatever he wants. And England sensationally has just gone into the lead, right on half-time, with a goal by John Barnes. He did it in the worst air cut that he's had. The big wet perm there was just slightly unfortunate. And in those conditions, it had flaked a bit as well. A rarefied atmosphere, clearly the wrong Barnet for the occasion. But um, if you can just kind of get rid of the hair from the rest of the moment, it was magic. <laughs> And there's plenty more of that kind of thing still to come. Stay put for this lot if you know what's good for you.